Hi, welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Ivan. Today I'm going to go through something a little different with you. Um, because I'm sure as you're aware, if you are subscribed to um, the Adobe Creative Cloud for the Photoshop, uh, the photography bundle, you get all these apps for free um, on your phone. Uh, just to clarify, I'm no way associated with Adobe. I'm just showing this because I want to. Um, today I'm going to be going through this app right here called Adobe Capture. So let's get started. Okay. So once you open it, you get that. Um, if you're wondering why I'm doing it through Photoshop like this, I haven't found a legal way to record on my phone. Um, so I've just screenshotted everything and I'm just going to go through it this way. Okay. So once you open Adobe Capture, you've got shapes, patterns, colors, brushes, and looks. We're not going to be going through looks in this tutorial. Okay, so let's go to the shapes. Once you first open it, you, you'll see um, you'll have this through your camera. So you can adjust it. Um, you can adjust the slider and it increases or decreases. And you can change the background um, whether you want the, the objects or the background to change. So let's go to the next photo. So there I've clicked the background change and it's changed it to that. And I'll show you what it looks like now. Once it's over here, once you've taken the photo, um, it comes to this and you can erase things, select things and deselect things like it says over here. You can crop it as well. And once you click, click next, it renders it for you and it creates the shape. Okay, so you can name it, you can put it in different libraries and that's the actual image over there. Okay, so at the end of this, I'm going to show you how to load it in Photoshop. Um, so you can use it on all your documents. So now we're on the patterns. Um, we've got these different patterns over here. I actually haven't taken a screenshot of the one that we did in the tutorial, for the tutorial. Um, but you'll see it when it comes up. Okay, so this takes a photo. Um, you select the area you want to take a photo. And you can select the different shapes you want it to be. And once you've done that, you can rotate it however you want. Okay. And once you've clicked next, it saves it in your um, pattern library. And now over to the colors. Um, basically, this is good if you want things of similar color or you're going to recre recreate a certain thing. Um, when you have your camera open, it pinpoints different um, colors around the area and you can see them up here. And you can tap in different sections which bring up the different colors and you can double tap and it saves those colors for you okay and once you've taken the photo it just saves it and you can adjust it how you want to you can increase the rgb you can change everything up there next and it saves it for you and over to the brush tool once you're there you can select a color Move the slider, it tries to remove everything around that color, um, and it leaves a certain image there, which in this case is the table. And let's show you how to load them. So once you've got them, you go up to Window and Libraries. And over here, if you, have, you, if you don't have a, a default set, you go to My Library or whichever one you chose when you first done it. Okay, so here it is. Once you've done it, it automatically goes onto your cloud. Um, you don't have to copy anything onto your computer or anything. Um, if you have Photoshop started, I suggest restarting it if it's not there. Okay, so there's those colors that we had. Um, so you can choose different themes. The brush is the table. Let me just show you. Let me just increase the size. So it takes a little while to increase because it slows down my computer quite a bit. There we go. Let's just change the color to black, pressing D and clicking. And there's a the table. Oh, it's upside down. So let's go to the presets and change it. So it's not upside down. Is that upside down? It's even more upside down. So we go up there. Well, you get the gist of it anyway, don't you? Okay. So let's click. It's a table there. Okay. And if you wanted to go down to your graphics, that was, oops, that's pulled it over. And that was of the, um, let's just hide the background layer quickly. Oops, hit the tick, hide the background layer, and that's the slide. So it, cre it creates nice um, 
patterns for you, different things. And here's the one of the table as well. Let's click and drag that over. And you can adjust what scale we want it. So if you want it big or if you want it as small as it goes. And there's your created pattern. And hit OK. And that's pretty much it really. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I hope you can have lots of fun with it. Get some nice color themes going on. Okay, please leave your comments if you found this helpful. If you want me to do more about the apps. Or if you have a legal way for me to stream on my phone so I can show you properly. Thank you very much. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have plenty more to come.